And hello from East Anglia. This is the scene here at Carrow Road. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It is Norwich City, and they face Hull City. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today? Big question. And here's the Norwich City starting 11. Well, they're playing in a 4-4-2, with one of the strikers just dropping that little bit deeper. His role is to find space between the defensive lines, but he can only do that if his partner makes forward runs. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Hull City. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Thank you, Carroll Road. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, the attack looks promising. Aaron's and thwarted there following the cross. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. McLean didn't fall the keeper. Well, he's gone short with it. McLean. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, he's very much a confidence player, and at the moment his confidence must be high. Three goals in the last three games. And I think he's got every chance of scoring another one today. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. McLean. Well, let's see if something comes of this. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Temo Puki. And the pass could do damage. A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now?
Josh Sargent. Kieran Dowell. Aaron's really important piece of last ditch defending. And the counter attack is on, options available. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Well, nicely cut out. Ozan Tufan. Estupinian. Good pass. And an effective clearance. Now veering in field. The high press was very much on. Now can they counter clinically? A really sumptuous ball. And reading it absolutely superbly. Ozan Tufan. Well, attacking possibilities. This looks more than decent. It's got to be! And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Over it comes. Well, still an issue here. It did look on for them, but not to be. Sergeant. Puki. Under pressure, can he finish? It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So 2-0 now. Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Ozan Tufan. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at Carrow Road. Well, as we highlight him, you've got to say he's been well below his usual high standards. Normally so composed in the middle of the park, Stuart. Well, he's been poor today. He hasn't got on the ball enough. He's given it away cheaply, and he's been outplayed. That's the main reason why they're losing at the moment. So, back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Puki. Well, no stopping him. Opportunity. Well, decent save there. Favouring the short one. Hernandez. 
Superb block. And well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? And deciding to go short with this one. Hernandez. Well, as those stats tell us, Norwich have controlled much of the possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Well, a powerful effort, but just wide. Josh Sargent. Puki. Oh, surely! Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. And a substitution in the offing. Puki and given away by Norwich well let's see what they have in store for them on the break Tete throw in here for Hull Ozan Tufan, a very good tackle. Well, it could be on for him here. What a save! Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, they profit from this situation. Oh, surely. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So back underway. Intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Onel Hernandez. Sergeant. Really a very poor ball. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to them. Surely this will inspire the players there. What a noise we've got. McLean. Nicely timed tackle. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. Now still pressing for a goal here. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. And take it away. 
Onel Hernandez. Temo Puki. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Can he open the door to a potential goal? No way through. A possession lost, intercepted. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Tete. Seri. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. Well, the referee blows the whistle. Nothing to divide them after 90 minutes.